Secure Reliable Transport, or SRT for short. If you're into live video production, I'm sure you have heard this technology being mentioned in the recent years. If you're checking out this video guide, I'm going to guess that you are trying to find out what exactly this is for. I may not know the protocol on a deep technical level, but I've spent enough time with the technology to get it up and running in a small to medium setup. And I hope what I share with you is enough to get you started with your own projects. Every production has probably asked this question. We have a studio. We just need one or two cameras at the event location to produce a show. What's the easiest way to bring the signal back to the studio in a reliable manner with minimal delay? This sounds like a problem that should have been solved by now, since we have live TV for decades. The reality is that in the past, doing such a thing requires expensive and specialized equipment. Think satellites or dedicated video distribution systems. This means real-time remote video transmission is almost exclusively in the domain of high-end broadcasting companies, while smaller organizations or individuals are left out of it. SRT is trying to change that. The developers basically had this idea. We have the internet, it is now widely accessible and generally reliable. We want to transport videos across the internet with good enough reliability and quality at a low enough latency so that it can be used for a production. Simply put, SRT allows users to easily transport video from one device or software to another as long as they both are connected to the internet. Additionally, it is an open standard that can be adopted by any manufacturer or software developer, so you're not tied down to one brand or product. You may be thinking, hey, I thought video transmissions over the internet isn't new. Don't we have existing standards already? True, there are existing standards. But let me highlight a few popular ones and their limitations. RTMP requires a content server or cloud and has significant latency. RTSP has quality at moderate at best and latency is noticeable. WebRTC is more suitable as a calling standard since it prioritizes low latency over consistent bitrate and quality. Since the developers wanted to overcome the earlier limitations highlighted, they designed the SRT standard to be consistent in its quality while giving users a reasonable amount of control over the latency and in fact, allows users to manually control these two parameters so that users can find the sweet spot for each venue or deployment. They achieve this by the way the data packets are transferred across the web. But those are details that, while helpful, aren't necessary for you to get started using the technology. So to recap, SRT is a video transport over internet standard. Unlike earlier standards, it prioritizes quality while still having reasonable latency. It is a software and hardware standard, so your deployment options are flexible. By being a standard, once you understand these core concepts, you should be able to comfortably use any devices or softwares that adopt this standard. I hope this has been helpful for you. And in the subsequent video, we are going to dive a bit more deeply into the standard itself and how you would actually go about to set up for your production. This is Tu here from Making Domain and if you have any other questions and would like to get a personal demo with us, do reach out and feel free to uh, leave a comment in this video. We hope you have a good day and take care.